Hi virtual stains me. Um, today I am bringing you a little bit of the mini soup dragon. Um, we're going to show you guys how we make um, the sweet corn and mixed bean chowder. Um, as is always the case with Stainsby, you do what you can with what you've got. Um, don't have mixed beans, so just using kidney beans. Um, you guys can do, do what you can with what you've got at home. Um, the recipe is fairly simple. Uh, need an onion, garlic, uh, potato, courgette, um, oxo cube, uh, tin sweet corn and your mixed beans, or not mixed beans as the case may be. Um, I'm actually cooking for a few more people so I'm adding some extra potato and onions just to fill it out a bit. Alright, so first things first, uh, we're going to start with frying off some onions. Um, obviously you need to chop your onions first um, before you can get on with that. And um, you also want to chop up a little bit of garlic, um, make that nice and small. Um, what we tend to do at Stainsby is actually have jarred garlic, uh, just a spoonful of that if, if you've got the lazy, the lazy kind. Um, we like that, makes it much quicker for getting things done. You want to fry your onions on a uh, low to mid heat. Um, if you really want to replicate the stains with vibes, um, you want it to be on quite a low heat. Um, quite a long time and then halfway through it cuts out. Um, so just switch it off for a little bit. And about 10 minutes later, come back to it once you've realised that the, the power circuit's tricked. Um, you can then phone Bob um, and he'll fix it for you. Um, what you want to do is until your onions start getting nice and soft, or start going translucent. Alright, once your onions have started to soften a little bit, um, you can add your garlic. You don't want to add it to begin with. Um, sometimes when you add it to begin with, um, it starts to burn and then you get that bitter taste, if you like, but that's fine. Um, just want to dice the potatoes nice and small. Uh, if you feel the desire to peel them, go for it. Um, if you can't quite be bothered and you want the extra nutrients, leave them in. Gives it a bit more texture. Uh, the smaller you dice them, the quicker it'll cook, uh, which is definitely what you want at Stainsby when you're doing a much larger batch. Right, so your onions are nice and soft now, or in my case, a little toasty in some parts. Um, the next thing you want to do is, you want to add a litre of water, um, which is actually two jugs of this, I'll get some more in a minute. Um, one of these little stock cubes, uh, this one here is a vegetable stock cube, but I mean you can use whatever, whatever you fancy really. Um, just gives it a bit of added flavour. Um, and you want to throw in your diced potatoes. Um, once your potatoes are in, you want to leave this to simmer um, for about 30 minutes. Um, let your potatoes get nice and soft. They'll start to break down a little bit, um, start to go a bit mushy, which is kind of what you want in a chowder. All right, while that's uh, simmering away, um, you've got about half an hour to spare. Um, I mean, you can get started on the next part of the of the soup, or um, you know, you can stroll down the field, go to the loo, um, go see what's on um, in the bar, um, you know. Um, so the next part, um, we want to take our courgettes and dice it up. Um, these will probably stay whole, um, so you want to make your um, your pieces small enough that can fit on a spoon. Um, I mean, actually, you guys are at home, so you've probably actually got proper cutlery and not just not just spoons and whatever's in the magical mystery bucket of cutlery in the in the crew tent. But there we go. 
Okay. And the same thing goes with the potatoes. Um, the, smaller you cook, the smaller you cut them, the quicker they'll cook. Uh, depends how hungry we are. So now your um, potatoes should be nice and soft. Um, you want to mash them up a little bit. Um, if you have like a little food processor or something like that, you can use it. Um, we're going for the old fashioned way today. Mashing it, just be careful you don't get yourself burned by splashing yourself. Easily done. to add your corn and mixed beans or not, not mixed beans as the case may be. Give that all a good stir. Right, and lastly you want to add your courgette. And you want to leave this to simmer for about 30 minutes, um, just until your courgettes cook through. And then it'll be time to serve. And, you know, while you're waiting, uh, given that we're not on the field, uh, go to the good old, old YouTube, hmm, if we can do. with a bit of grated cheese. You might want to add a bit of salt and pepper. Uh, fun fact about the soup dragon is that we don't season as we go so that people can have it as salty or not as they like. Um, enjoy virtual stays everyone. Oh, you want me to twirl? 